Publishing a new podcast episode that utilizes one of your show notes templates is as easy as you would expect. Clicking publish new episode will open up the standard episode publishing screen. And from here, you can upload your audio import from Descript or choose some audio that you already have available in your library. As usual, you can go ahead and add your episode title, but when it comes to your show notes, you will notice that your default show notes template, if you have one set, will have been preloaded, complete with all of the included short codes and the included blocks that you may have added when creating this template. From here, you can simply add to this text, you can edit this text as you see fit, or you can choose another show notes template, which will overwrite the current one. And as you move through this process, you can also choose to include any blocks on the fly or any of Captivate's inbuilt or custom shortcuts. Once you've finished editing your show notes, you can come down to the Amy section, the dynamic ad and content section of your episode. And you can add the usual pre-rolls, any mid-rolls or baked in advertisements that you'd like to paint over, or you can add a post-roll. And where you've attached text to your dynamic audio, when you publish, Captivate will add that dynamic text to the end of your show notes automatically. The Show Notes Builder is a really powerful way of enhancing your podcasting workflow, but it's not intrusive. It's there to make your life easier and will only help you to become more efficient.